Whether you are new to research or an experienced one, finding relevant research papers for literature review, summarizing its findings and understanding it takes a lot of your time. This makes writing your research proposal, research paper, thesis or review too much cumbersome and time taking. I have received several comments from researchers and students facing this problem. You are watching research and publishing series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek and in today's video tutorial I will explain how to use SciSpace, a free to use AI tool for quickly finding research papers, get the summary and conclusions of individual sections or entire paper for all the papers in one place. You will learn ways to easily prepare their library through online search or using pre-downloaded PDFs or from Zotero. How to get related papers and references and how to chat with research papers to get answers to your questions using SciSpace Copilot. So let's begin. Go to your web browser and search for SciSpace. You can click on the link SciSpace.com or the second link Typeset.io. You can see the homepage itself says do hours of work in minutes. Next, sign up or log in to your account to use most of its features. The first thing you can do with SciSpace is performing literature search on any topic of your interest. For example, I want to find literature for genome-wide identification of metabolite transporters in wheat. You can see it is showing a list of all the papers and as you scroll down it will show more results. You can filter the papers based on several criteria like papers with PDF, free to access papers, papers in top journals based on the publication type, keywords, journal, and year of publication. You can also sort the papers based on the citation count. The highly cited papers may be more useful in certain cases. Now the most interesting and useful thing about this AI tool. You can get a list of literature in a tabular format and the columns next to the paper can be customized. You can add columns for conclusions, summarized abstracts, results, methods used, limitations and others. You can choose any of these and you can see everything next to the paper itself. Below each paper you can see an option Ask Copilot. You can ask any question related to the research paper. For example, in this paper I want to know how PhD1 gene was cloned. And you can see the exact details about the question asked. Genome-wide analysis was performed, alleles were cloned from back library screening and how primers were designed. This can be really very useful for you if you do not understand something or find it difficult to locate. You can also look for possible future work that can be performed based on this paper. In this case, it suggests manipulating PHT1 gene to see its effect on phosphate use efficiency and remobilization. Expression of gene in different tissues can be examined and field studies can also be performed. You can also open individual paper and use Copilot to get an explanation or summary of paper or ask a specific question.
you can also find related papers and by clicking on the link you can directly jump onto that related paper clicking on the doi will take you to the original website of the paper and clicking on the references will get you the list and the links of all the papers referred you can also save your query So whenever next time you click on it, you will get all the papers without redoing or re-asking the question. If you have several papers of your interest in PDF format, you can create a library by uploading them all at once. And in a similar manner as we did previously, you can select the columns to get summary of respective sections of the paper. This way you get all the information in one place without even opening and reading the entire paper. But I would highly recommend you to manually check critical information and do not rely entirely on AI tools. If you have a Zotero reference management software library, you can directly import all your papers from Zotero to the size space. Copilot itself provides certain most common questions related to the paper that you can ask. For example, if I want to know the practical implications of this work. And it tells the characterization of sucrose transporter provides insight into understanding of sucrose transport and other useful information. If you use a Chrome browser, you can also use Chrome extension for size space. Just click on add to Chrome. And you can also pin it. Another useful feature of SizePiece Copilot is that you can select a particular text and you can ask it to explain it to you. You can see it is providing detailed explanation about the text you have selected. You can also ask follow-up questions and you will be surprised to see it provides simple to understand answers to your query. Once you have added the Chrome extension, you can use size space feature at the journal homepage and other sites to summarize or get suitable explanation. For example, I find a paper with the title Biological Relevance of Sound in Plants. It is a review paper. You can see size space option for it. You can launch size space and ask one or more suitable questions. If you do not understand a term or have a specific question related to an article, you can ask that too. I hope this tutorial on SciSpace AI tool will help you in your literature search, understanding research papers, summarizing the content while saving a lot of your crucial time. Just remember it is the sole responsibility of the author and not any AI tool related to the content, research and analysis part of the manuscript. Do check out my other related videos on research and publishing, AI tools, markers, plant tissue culture, techniques, genetics, transcriptomics, nutrition and health and lot more. Do comment below for your queries and suggestions. I would love to hear from you. And stay connected for more such informative content.